Hello everyone, so I just played a game and I want to show you guys how to do a nice savior, how to use savior nicely in the beginning. Because I had an, yeah, I just basically had a really nice savior. So as usual, I just start by killing off more rocks, getting the tower thing. Here I kill that stuff, looking at my ally a bit, killing more rocks. Here I can see, here's the first uh, thing which is notable, is I see uh, like rocket thingies here, you know? And that's a sign of Marauder, so I can easily, without any danger, just uh, go here. Try and take the tower before he moves in, so that way I can have vision of this part, meaning I'll have the entire concave here if he has army here. Our you see here, I'll get a really nice uh, lead over... Uh, light blue due to the fact that I can shoot here and he can't so you'll see we'll just you know exchange a bit and here is the first sign I have the tower and I see blue his ally moving in and well these are zergling so that's bad news anyway so I knew I had to retreat and with luck I would be able to save your uh, both their armies and I to be honest I expect them to retreat but they didn't so here, I move my army in the corner here, so all their army would have to go in this place, and this is all in range, this here is all in range of the savior. What my plan is, is to uh, put my rally point of the command center to, to here, so the savior will walk here, and then, uh, yeah, make it basically fire everything at once. And you, you'll see that worked out quite nicely. Here I put my army in the corner so the enemy army would go near. Put the rally point there. The infester, you'll see I moved it. you see I moved the infester there. Normally it would auto attack everything. This all is in range already. But I decided I'd like, I wanted to move it as far forward as possible. And then I wanted to shoot so they have zero reaction time to run away. And well, that's basically what happens. As you'll see, I move it there, and uh, as soon as I think everything is in range, look at that, I wiped everything. Just look at the bounty board, 486 minerals. And well, they got 100 and 103. Uh, you'll see I have 749 minerals, which is like a really great position for me to be in. Now, I didn't decide to record the entire thing because I'm a bit too lazy, to, lazy to record the entire thing from replay but I just uh, thought this was a really nice savior and yeah so that's basically how you want a savior that's how an, I, how an ideal savior looks like or what an ideal savior looks like you just wanna make sure you're, you move your army back as f uh, yeah you just wanna move your army back and lure the enemy in as far as you can and then when you think the time is right when you see enough units are here, you just launch the savior. You see, I'm waiting a bit for uh, because I saw light blue moving in. And when I saw light blue moving in, you'll see I kill my savior, so it can just kill everything. And yeah, I, I knew this. This was great. You see, when the savior spawns, uh, you all automatically select the savior, even though you have something else selected. So that's nice. And I just right-clicked it uh, over here, so it would move there first. And then as soon as I think the entire enemy army is in range, I just press the S button and let the savior do its work. So yeah, that's how that works. Uh, yeah, so much for this short video, and I'll see you guys next time.